Hi everyone, I have this BMS. This is about, I think uh, it's seven, seven kilowatt. Seven kilowatt of power I have here, seven kilowatt on this pack of battery. I think this is about three, three. And what I'm gonna do, so right now I'm being charged, I'm, oops, the, I'm, the system is being charged, okay. So this is the system is being charged. I have this cell here, cell number 13. It's always giving me hard time, okay? It's not balanced. It's the weakest cell in there. Because this, and I'm not sure when that happens, see? It's never balanced. If the body is gonna drop, that's the first one to drop. Okay, what I'm about to do now, I'm about to stop charging and trying to charging it manually to balance it okay and if the procedure works there's nothing wrong with the battery you see everybody's dropped so i may end up doing it for every single cell max them beyond the daytime okay i'm gonna do one and right now i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the discharge the charging <coughs> now i'm not charging anything okay it's a good thing to have a BMS that you can control. You can do stuff in there. Right now, I'm not discharging. I'm not charging. Okay. So, I have a breaker here. To be safe, I'm charging the cell. Let's count the cell. Okay. I have one, two, three, all the way to the 13 one. This is the 13 cell. This is the 13. This is the 13 cell. See the cell? 13. If you count it, you know we do the 13. You said 1, 2, 3. You got it through there. But if this is my, I'm using this IMAX to charge it. So the closest one to do it is this way because they're all connected. All the cells are connected. That's the purpose of having the BMS. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to monitor it. I'm gonna plug it in because I, even though it's plugged, I'm gonna try this because I wanna see what's going on in here, if it's going higher and higher. Right now, I'm not charging anything. See, the cell is dropping. It's always like this. So, I'm gonna pause the video, plug the wires, okay? This is beginning from one, two, three, all the way to the back, and it's the closest one to use this wire to do that. So I'm gonna do this and show you guys how I do it and show you what's the difference of it. Let me pause this video for two seconds. Okay guys, I put my IMAX, okay? I plug the wires over there to the 13 cell, okay? Let me show you how you do this. This is a cell, okay? This is cell number one. If you're gonna charge this one, you gotta go to the negative here first. Put the negative here, put your positive there. If it's cell number two, okay, you put, uh, this will be your negative, that will be the positive for cell number two, and it goes on forward, okay? So now, uh, what I do, I, I'm starting this thing. This is life for battery. Now, if something was wrong, this one will beep. So I just start. Now I was at 3.4, 2.6. Now let's go to back to the BMS and see what's going on with the BMS. Now I look at the right cell. Okay, guys, I look at the right cell. I can't see properly though. Now the cell's coming up, it's going up. You see? All right, the cell's going up, guys. That cell's being charged. I'm charging it. So, let me pause the video. Let's see what happened in 20 minutes. If I get somewhere. Okay? Okay, guys. It hasn't been too long. It has not been too long. This thing always jumped. Because I increased it by 6 amp. Okay? So, I'm at 3.6. So, I'm going to bring it all the way up to 2.6. I'm going to see if I can bring it up all the way to 3.65. So 
because that bad is always always giving the problem there so we're gonna take it from there okay see see what it jump I don't like what it does there so whenever the body is dropping that's the first one to go so I'm gonna charge it all the way to the maximum see it keep flipping then charge it to the maximum is no longer the, the weakest one and see what it does and monitor it okay right now it look good now he's no longer the weakest link i'm gonna go all the way to 3.65 he can go oh he can fix if i can match with this one and then monitor see what it what it look like how does this thing works if it's improved oh, i gotta check all the wires to see if i miss one or something is not plugging properly right now it's been put to three to five minutes now this this is supposed to stop at 3.7 but i don't know sometimes it goes up depending okay so if you stop i'm going to restart it again so let's try to restart it again okay guys see i bring it to six amp call it 3.3 the drop that's how it works so <coughs> so i'm gonna let it sit there until this thing stop so i can show you guys this thing stop so i probably reset it again to tap it so i'm gonna keep doing this until i get it to the right level and go the other daytime to see if it improve if the body is not improving so i got it before i put the pack i'm gonna put another pack here i'm gonna put another pack here make it make it this is 13 i'm gonna make it 14 that's giving me 7.5 close to 7.5 then i will have a total of 15 kilowatt here so the on the date i'm gonna keep adding stuff in here so hopefully next time you see the next video of all, please subscribe you can see all the stuff there because i'm i'm completing the whole thing and just run the house with it and see what the performance they give okay guys this video is about how to balance your battery. Hopefully this thing works. So I use this cell. I think the problem may be, if there's a problem, it may be on the third cell here. The third one may have a problem, so I gotta double check it. Because they're always dropping fast, I'm not sure why. So, on the pass, you see on the pass, Cell number six used to be the, the highest one. Now it's become normal. Cell number six is supposed to be the highest one. The cell number 13 never improved. You can see what it does right now. They're flipping places, 13 and 14 uh, switching places. 3.6, I want this thing to be at 6.5, 3.65, or at least six, 2.4 something like this then i'll stop it so the time in the meantime guys i'm going to pause the video and then come back when this thing stop you're going to see at the level it stop okay guys this is where we at now they switch places number three used to be the highest one now number 13 is the highest one okay now i'm going to stop the charger to see what to see what this thing does okay it's showing me 399. It's been showing me 399 for a while. Okay, let's stop this. Let's, okay, I stop it. Now let's check the BMS if it's still maintained. Yeah, I'm still the highest one. Okay, so I guess well, this is good. I'm still, number 13 is still the highest one now. Now, you see the differences. I have a problem with the differences in the, and the voltage difference, but it's not a big deal. I just want to check that cell. But now I'll show you guys how to how to fix this problem. Now I can go balance every single one of them, do it manually, or let the system does it. You're gonna take over time. You're gonna get it done. You know so. Now, when I'm discharging that, that cell 13 used to be 
problem. That's the first one to go down. Okay. Now it's well above the number. So I can actually charge every single one of the same way. But not on camera though because it's going to take longer. I don't have that much time in my hand. So I'm leaving it the way it is. See, when you flip, it's at 335, which is okay with me. I like that. Okay, before it was at 22. Okay, so I think I'm stopping this video right there. So you guys see the, see the difference, how you charge it back. Now, I don't know if this thing is dropping. I think it's not dropping, it's staying the same way. 42.3.428. So that's on this pack right here that's on this pack and then i'm gonna stop this thing right there and unplug it that will be the end of this video guys this is number 13 one two three four five six seven eight nine when you go there it's 13. so if i have any other cell which is as a problem, I can do the exact same thing too. Okay, folks, for the time being, this is the end of this video. And my cell is still the same, 2.2. And I was able to do that by not, you see, I was able to do that. Oh, let's do this. Let's switch this thing back on, the charger. Charger go back on. Okay, I'm being charged. Turn the charger back on. Those batteries pack is full, so I don't want to use them too much. So I don't want to do this charge because what happened is I'm at 53. The other battery, let me show you something. The other battery is at, let me close this thing. You close it, I'm going to bring the other on one up. Then bring the other one up. So if I do that, so too much, the other one gonna come up. Okay. This is still the same. Which one's come up? This is number two. I gotta close this one again to try it again. It would be nice you can bring both of them up. It doesn't allow you to do that. Let me bring this first one. Now this is the first one. You see I'm at 52. If I put this charge on the other one, what it's gonna do is gonna reverse it. In other words, it's gonna take, this one gonna take charge from the other one even though I'm charging it from the solar. You're gonna see the difference. So because the other battery is higher, Leave it alone, so hopefully I got enough sun, they both become the same level. Okay? Alright, folks. This is a way to show you that how to balance your battery, if you can, if you have one of those systems like this. If you have one of those batteries, you set it up like this. And this is not difficult to set up. You can see my previous video. I have a lot of them on that, so. And it tells you. I mean, I have previous videos, so you can watch for some of our videos. You will see that how to put them together. And I'm about to put another pack, three of them here, another five of them there. So it's giving me at least uh, 14 pack on top. Okay, guys. Remember, this is turned like a fuse. So if something went wrong, this thing would blow. All right, folks, this is the end of this video. And this is pretty great. Great machine. The BMS JDB. It's pretty good. Well, I have to use it a lot to recommend something like this. And in the meantime, guys, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming up. I have a whole set like that's going to run a water company in Haiti. So if you want to see those videos, when I upload them, please subscribe and share and comment.